Today, I have this luxury yet affordable new construction home, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage on a corner lot over a third of an acre for less than $340,000. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Our passion is helping people evolve in real estate. So we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so much more. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss my weekly videos. Today we are back in Ocala, Florida, specifically Marion Oaks, one of my favorite places to tour new construction because in this community there's an abundance of new construction within everyone's price range. This specific Marion Oaks community there is no HOA or no CDD. Today we're going to tour this brand new home that I'm super excited about. The finishes, there's no carpet, it's tiled all throughout the home. You have all of the appliances, including the washer and dryer. And you also have a screened in covered lanai already. As you can tell, we have a long driveway. We have a porch with the stone. I am so excited. So this house, it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car garage, 1,535 square feet. It's on a corner lot on 0.32 of an acre and it is listed at $338,000. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where I'm going to go over all of the closing costs, down payment options, and we're going to do that at Monarch School of Real Estate. So let's begin your real estate tour. So this house is already a statement. We saw the stone on the exterior, even the door, the blue door with the two windows on the side. A lot of natural light is coming in through this house. It's a little gloomy today, but as we walk in, we're walking into the family room, right? So you either have the option of putting your TV on the right side or on the left side. It depends what whatever you want. But me personally, you already know that I, we have to have a hundred inch minimum TV. So whichever wall you pick, they're both gonna fit a hundred inch, all right? So we have the ceiling fan that's already included in the house. So what you see is what you get. And what I love about this house is it's tiled all throughout and the tile is sealed as well. So it's gonna be, it's gonna make it so much easier to clean. Um, so yes, we have the family room and we have vaulted ceilings in here. So it feels very, very open. Um, a lot of, lot of, again, that natural light coming in, okay? So let's walk this way where we're gonna walk into this beautiful kitchen. I absolutely love the kitchen. Let's just start off by saying, the distance between the island and the refrigerator, the oven, you, you're you not bumping into anyone, but let's start off at this island because you guys know I love islands because then I'm an island girl. I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm also from Dominican Republic and I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. So when I see islands, it reminds me of just being back home with my kids surrounding it, 
it, we're chopping it up, talking about our day, talking about our goals. So this island has quartz countertops. What I could really appreciate is that the sink is not in the island. When the sink is not in the island, it just gives you a lot more counter space. And I have a lot of clients saying, I do not like the sink in the island, so here you go. The island has an abundance of drawers galore. You guys know how I feel about drawers. I love drawers. All right, so they're all soft clothes and we have some deep drawers as well here. So all, so there's just an abundance of storage space, okay? On my right side, we're gonna start off on this wall where we have the pantry. So this is gonna be used as the pantry and I actually have my sister here with me and she's very like much into the interior design and all that and she's like, did you know that you can have some like pull out drawers that you can actually install in here? And so that would be a great idea as well. Just pull out some, um, you just pull it out and grab whatever you want. But as you can see, you have more than enough space for your canned goods and box goods, okay? And as I mentioned, everything is soft clothes. So we have Whirlpool appliances, the refrigerator, the microwave over the electric stove, and the dishwasher, okay? And like I said, washer and dryer comes too. But you guys know how I like, I like to open everything. Voila, this is the refrigerator. Put all of your good stuff. Man, I follow so many people on TikTok and like Instagram and Facebook where they just have everything organized and I'm just like, that's, that's beautiful, but that's not gonna work for me because with the six kids, they are just, nope, mm -mm, they're not gonna keep it up. And then for what? Why am I gonna get myself, myself stressed out? No, thank you. So here we go. What I could definitely appreciate that's different from what I've seen in other houses here in the Marion Oaks area is look what they did above the refrigerator. Instead of having that cabinet on the fridge that probably half of you guys don't even use because I know I don't use mine, right? They put like a wine rack here. So I, I love that. I am here for it. So let's go this way. These are 36 inch cabinets and you have the crown molding on the top. As I mentioned, they're all soft clothes, quartz countertops. Guys, you have drawers galore. I love this section here. This is a great um, section for like prepping. Let me tell you guys. I don't know where this desire came, but I want to start making sourdough bread. And I thought it was super simple. And then I started researching, oh my goodness, the steps you have to make your starter. You have to feed your starter. And when you're feeding your, this starter, your starter, you have to discard it and all this other stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I got myself into, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I'm super excited. I think it's a really cool project to do with the kids. So. Guys, we need a coffee station here. Where are we having our coffee station? I don't know. Where do you think we can have our coffee station, babe? Over there? Okay, so we'll talk about that over there. Again, there's enough space here for your spices, all of that good stuff. As you can see, we have outlets. We also have one of my favorite features, which is the Lazy Susan. I always wanna say, I still wanna say Lazy Susie. We're gonna, you know what, we're gonna call it Lazy Susie, why not? So, this is the Lazy Susie, it goes around, so you can have something and you don't have to go like this, right? You know, we getting old, our back and stuff, so there we go. So we got the Lazy Susie. Now let's go this way. So, we have this extra large kitchen window, which I have so many clients who love this. They love where the sink is by the window. Even I want you guys to notice that we have um, a quartz uh, windowsill as well. So you, it's always the little things that you have to notice that is gonna be like, okay, so why are they, why did they list this price at 338, okay? So we have a stainless steel sink. We have one of my favorite features is this pull out. It's easier to wash. All right, and then, like I always say, can you just see yourself washing dishes, looking at the kids, running around? Damn, I own this, right? That's what I want you to feel. Like, you, this is, this is all possible. I'm telling you guys, you just need the right, you need, you need, we need a goal, and we need steps, and we need a plan, and we execute, because if you don't execute on a plan, it's only a dream. So let's come this way. Oh, that was a bar. Okay, you heard that. If you don't execute on a plan, it's only a dream. 
All right, so the dishwasher is here. We have more drawers. And then, oh, this is, you know my husband is, this is a good one, babe. We could have the coffee station right here. And you guys know I love my Starbucks cups. I would have all my Starbucks here. This would be the coffee station, maybe the drawers for like maybe the curry cups or sugar and all that good stuff. So this is the kitchen. What do you guys think? We have recessed lighting. Remember, this is a vaulted ceiling, so it definitely feels grand in here. So come on this way. We have the dining space here, which is off of the kitchen. I would say the best use of space for this, um, this dining space would most likely be a rectangular table because if it's um, anything more, it's just maybe not gonna look right. So, but again, when it's your house, you do whatever you wanna do. So we already have this light fixture that comes with the house. You can have some seating at the island as well. So it gives you, you know, just more space. But let's go check out the backyard, which I'm super excited about because it is covered and it is already enclosed. So you're already saving some money on that end, but let's go check it out. All right, so we're walking into your backyard, Lanai. This is something super different that I haven't seen yet. It's actually a tray ceiling in here in the in covered lanai. It already comes with the ceiling fan. As you can see, it already comes enclosed. But if you guys been following me, you know that I love butterflies. You know that I love the evolution of butterflies. That's why my whole, um, my whole business is built around evolving, right? And especially evolving in real estate. So it's just so, I, I'm like, I have goosebumps here right now because there's a butterfly that's stuck in here and I just feel like it was meant to be. So let me try to grab it. Let me, or let me try to let it out. Hold on. Wow, that's a beautiful butterfly. Let me see. All right. It's probably scared. Hold on. I know you're scared. scared you're scared I know hold on I know this is not a butterfly <laughs> butterfly video but I'm trying to get it out I don't want to get smacked by it either wow this is beautiful maybe if I maybe if I cuff my hand yeah I want to cry right now. Hi. Here you go, baby. There you go. Oh, I got goosebumps. All right. So this is your backyard. You're on a corner lot. You are on over a third of an acre. You can add a pool here. You can add a trampoline, a little playground for the kids. You can extend the backyard lanai if that's what something you wanted to. You can pave this out. You can do whatever you want to, of course, within limits, right? Because although this is there's no HOA here, it still is deed restricted, which means that, for example, you can't have a 50 foot fence, right? Um, but you can have whatever material as far as wood, vinyl, um, chain link. It's just so everywhere you go, there's restrictions because you have to abide by county rules anyway. But that's just kind of like an example one thing that i always tell everyone even if you don't use me as your real estate agent if you want to build a pool you need to make sure that you know where the septic tank is so most of the houses here in marion oaks is on septic tank and either public or well water this house is on a septic tank and it's on public water okay so the septic tank is in the front though you always want to make sure you know where that septic tank is because if you want to build a pool and that septic tank is in the back you will not be able to build the pool so again that's just kind of like fyi you guys know that i love to educate you guys so that you guys become savvy consumers all right so this is your backyard as i mentioned do what you love Love. make this your backyard oasis put in the comments what you would do to this backyard honestly it's just going to give me better ideas to maybe recommend to help others as well because i am definitely not creative all right so this is your backyard and let's continue the tour i'm a little emotional guys butterflies symbolize so much for me and just for it to be here it's 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 crazy it's not crazy it's meant to be so 
What did you think about that backyard? Again, put on the comments what you would do back there. It's a beautiful lot, corner lot on over a third of an acre. So one thing I wanna mention before we continue the tour is that the best way to reach out to me is gonna be in my YouTube, right? There's a, this, there's a link and just click on the link. It's my Calendly link, which basically links to my calendar. And then you'll just book whatever, if you're a builder wanting to connect with me, buyer, seller, or investor. So I don't only help buyers i help a lot of sellers sell their homes and evolve in real estate whether they're staying in florida or going to a different area outside of florida okay so that's going to be the best way to reach out to me because i'm just very you know if i'm out if i'm i do a lot of negotiating for my clients to get the best deal so when you call me i definitely want to have my undivided attention for you so that's gonna be the best way if you do call me you get my assistant and she'll put you on my calendar anyways remember everyone i don't only cover here ocala i'm here a lot because of what ocala offers but i cover all of central florida ocala all the way down to tampa okay and everything in between don't forget that all right so this is a split floor plan, which basically means is that the master is on one side of the house and then the other bedrooms is on the other side. So we're gonna start with bedroom number one, which is faces the front of the house and then we'll continue, let's go. All right, so we're walking into bedroom number one. As I mentioned, it's in the front of the house. We have one window, we have the ceiling fan already. We have the sealed tile flooring all throughout. And I want you to notice that they do have the extended baseboards as well, which is a very nice look and it's also easy to clean. So let's come and let's check out the double door closet. Very nice size. Let me see, you guys know I always do this. So you can't even see me right now. And then I'm walking and still. So you guys always know what I say. You can always maximize it, right? Go to um, Ikea or Lowe's or Home Depot, get another one, add another one, of, add another shelf just to maximize the space. But I do have a client who, um, she says every house that they bought, they have four girls, one girl on the way. So they're gonna have five girls. And she said every house that they bought, they always customize um, the their daughter's um closet so they hire a company and they, it's all customized my sister had mentioned something too which i didn't um really think about is that i usually like the sliding doors for the closet but then and now i could appreciate these doors the bifold doors because it you're gonna have better access to the closet your clothes and things like that okay so this is still a great um, view of the outside. The landscape is very, very nice and mature. And let's go check out the bathroom that these two bedrooms are gonna share. All right, so this bathroom, we have the single sink, but what I love about it, and you guys know that it has drawers. I love drawers. So it has drawers. So it's a bigger um, it's a bigger counter. It has the quartz countertops, the white cabinets. Usually it's the same thing that matches the kitchen. We have the mirror. We have different lighting in here, which it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's I like it better than just kind of the generic ones. You also have that shower tub combination, and then you have the tiling going all the way up to the ceiling which i could definitely appreciate when builders do that because if you leave the if you leave part of it without the tile and if it, you're cleaning and it's getting wet constantly getting wet the paint is going to peel okay what i also could appreciate about this bathroom is that it has a window a lot of clients who call me they're like i i must have a window in the bathroom so here you go this is the bathroom that these two bedrooms are going to share now next we're going to go see bedroom number two which faces the back of the house all right we are in bedroom number two faces the back of the house it does have um one window i would it would really be i would love it to have two windows like maybe one on the side and one um on the back but it just has the one okay you have the ceiling fan same tiled flooring and then you also have the double closet doors looks to be around the same size as the other closet again 
What I what I do for my house because I have six kids. For those who don't know, yes, six kids. You've heard me say it earlier in the video. My husband and I have three biological sons. We were foster parents and we adopted a sibling group of three. So we have four boys and two girls. And so in um, some of my rooms, even though I have a five bedroom and we're already outgrowing it, I have bunk beds. So this would definitely fit bunk beds. And what I did was um, one shelf is for one child and then I added another shelf and that was for the other child so that they have like that separation. So we already viewed the two bedrooms plus the bathroom that they share. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the house. Let's check out the two car garage, the laundry room and the master bedroom. All right, so what do you think about the house so far? Do you love it? Let me know. So far, I love, love, love the kitchen and I love the tile flooring. I love that it's sealed because I'm telling you, it makes a very, very big difference. So come on this way. We're gonna go to the opposite side of the house and we're gonna check out the two car garage. All right, so this is the two car garage and just keep in mind, um, there's some stuff in here, but it's all good. So we already have the garage door opener. One less thing for you to worry about. We have the AC that's housed in here. We also have the water heater with the expansion tank. One thing that I wanna tell you that I have not seen in any of the houses here is a sink in the garage. At first I was like, I've never seen just a sink in the garage. But my sister actually said that a lot of people in like California, a lot of houses in California have this. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, you know what you could do? You could actually take out this sink and put a dog, like a, like a wash, like a big sink for your dogs to wash them there. And I'm like, that is a brilliant idea because all you have to do because it's already plumbed as you can see so all you have to do is just remove the sink and put that big dog sink i, I think I'm, that sounds great actually because i have so many dogs would you guys do that would you end up taking it out and putting maybe like the dog sink so that you can give them a bath here. I think that's gonna be much easier on your back than you know trying to give them a bath in the shower or less expensive than taking them to the grooming salon, right? Or if would you keep this like this? And if you keep it like this, what would you use it for? Because I really don't know what you would use just like this kind of sink in the garage. Let me know because I would really love to know. Let's go back into the house. We're gonna go check out that laundry room and the master bedroom. All right, so off of the garage, ooh, I almost slipped. Off of the garage, we have the laundry room. Again, washer and dryer do come with the house. It's Whirlpool washer and dryer. And then you also have the rack on the top. Great option that you can do is that when you close, you take it out, you add cabinets, and then you can just house all of your detergent needs. What I always say is that, you know, if this is your first home or this is just kind of like you're relocating, Guys, this is all stuff that can just happen afterwards, little by little. When I first bought my house, I bought it at a really good price. It was the size that we needed, and there was still stuff that we needed to, I'm like, oh, rugs, I really don't like rugs, right? But I was like, okay, you know, it's a good price, it was a good investment, and um, you just do it little by little, and now I have no rugs in my house. So it's just, you know, projects, weekend projects, and things like that, saving for it, um, for when it can be possible, right? So um, don't always think that you have to have every little thing that you want to in the house um, and you may not have the budget for it right so you always have to start somewhere if you if the if the space fits for you everything else can be changed okay so this is the laundry room now off of the laundry room we're gonna have that master bedroom so let's go see that one all right so this master bedroom faces the back of the house it has tray ceilings it has the ceiling fan it has the one window again i personally do wish that it had another window just to let in that more natural light but what do you guys think are you guys good with the one window do you prefer more windows i have a client that we just actually toured some properties and she was like i have to have a whole bunch of windows in the house because i love the natural light and i completely agree so this bedroom definitely fits a king size bed you could put your um depending on how you want it you could put your tv on the wall it just depends on what works for you okay so let's come check this actually let's come this way we're gonna check the closet out so the closet is actually not in the bathroom um so i, I see a lot of closets inside the master bathroom but it actually is not this one isn't so you kind of have like this l-shaped closet again it's a nice size 
just you can customize it later after you move in my in-laws they went to ikea they bought a whole bunch of like customizable inserts they installed it they said it was super simple because we all know that ikea be having you like what i have like 50 million parts and i have to do what right but they said that it was absolutely super easy to just customize their um their closet with the ikea items so that's maybe something that you want to look into but there's a whole bunch of companies california closets and things like that okay so now let's walk into the master bathroom which is just right next to it so in this master bathroom we have a um double sink with the white quartz countertops we have the drawers in between between the cabinets but you guys know that I absolutely love we have a window in here and we do have a step-in shower the tiling goes all the way up to the top and what I could appreciate is those like little platforms where you can house maybe um, your soap or your shampoo or anything like that but again this is the master bathroom and we are almost done with the tour let's me up in the kitchen so that we can chop it up go to monarch school of real estate and i could give you all the details that you guys absolutely love all right we are back in the kitchen you guys know it's my favorite place to be so we're done with the tour what did you think about this house do you love it let's go over the details again so this is a three bedroom two bath two car garage 1532 square foot home brand new it's on a corner lot it is on point three two of an acre now this house is built on concrete block it is on a septic tank and it has public water there's no carpet whatsoever in this house we have the sealed tiles which is absolutely great for maintaining and cleaning we have the split floor plan where we have the two bedrooms on one side with the full bathroom and then we also have the master bedroom on the other side with the tray ceiling facing the back of the house we have the two car garage where the ac and the water heater is housed along with that sink that i said that you can definitely make into kind of like a a dog bath right we have this beautiful kitchen with this islands with the sink by the window with all of this cabinet space with the drawers that is just like drawers galore soft clothes right we even have the wine rack on top of the fridge which i could definitely appreciate can we talk about that enclosed covered lanai great space to just maybe have a patio set there. You have a big enough space for a pool if you would like to. It, the house does not come with the butterfly, but if you wanted the butterfly, I could definitely, I'm your butterfly, hey, follow the butterfly, right? So this house I absolutely love. Again, we are in Marion Oaks. Marion Oaks is made up of several different neighborhoods. There's no HOA, there's no CDD they okay so let's talk about marion oaks real quick so marion oaks has an abundance of different things so number one they have their own sheriff department they have their own fire department and then we have what's called it's not called but i name it marion hub where we have winn dixie which could be turning into aldi's because aldi's bought out winn dixie so let's stay tuned for that but we have um, a Dominican hair salon. You guys know that wash and set. Yes, be having you feeling all feeling like Beyonce and J Lo up in here. Okay. Now we also have the Old San Juan um, a Puerto Rican food restaurant. It is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love it. My family has eaten there. They also have like an adjacent bakery where you can get some like. Um, bread pudding, quesitos, flan. So you definitely should check that out. There's pizzerias, there's barbershops, there's Walgreens, Dollar General. So all within this vicinity. Okay. Also, we're about only like eight minutes away from I-75 and Wawa is being built off of I-75, which I am so excited. Have you guys, have you guys had their subs, 
their pizza. It is so good. So to have a Wawa there, I'm I, I'm all here for it. Along 484, which is off of I-75, right? And that's how that's what you'll take to get to Marion Oaks. They have an abundance of like food trucks with different ethnicities. So that's a great place to hang out, eat some good food. We also are just about 10 minutes away from Highway 200, where you're gonna have all of the stores, such as Dillard's, Dick's Sporting Goods, Epic Movie Theaters, Ulta, my favorite Starbucks, we have the VA clinic there. And then we also have some major hospitals. In this area as well, we have um, an urgent care and we have some doctor's offices as well, okay? So it is not super rural or anything. like. It's definitely getting more and more developed. I absolutely love this house. The, the window sills has the quartz countertops. The ceiling fans already come with the house. So this is definitely a great, great buy. Let me know what you guys think about it. So now we're gonna go to Monarch's School of Real Estate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go to Monarch School of Real Estate, let me start off by saying we're only about an hour and 15 minutes away from downtown Orlando, where you have some night, like that night light. You have the arena, which was Amway, but now it's Kia Center. Um, you're about an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes away from Tampa where you can get to the beaches. So you are in definitely a great location. This is still considered Central Florida and you're about 45 minutes away from um, Gainesville. So a few things that you can do here in Ocala. So we have the Rainbow Springs, which is absolutely amazing. The water is beautiful. You could go kayaking, you could go zip lining, you could go canoeing, you can do, um, go on the campgrounds, uh, you can, go camping, right? And then you also have Rainbow Spring, um, not Rainbow Springs, Silver Springs. So Silver Springs, oh my goodness. So you could go kayaking, there's, there's wild monkeys, there's manatees in the water, there's gators in the water. Um, you can go kayaking and there's campgrounds there as well. We also are known here in Ocala to be the horse capital of the world. So we have the Equestrian Center, which is absolutely beautiful. It has a luxury hotel, some restaurants. If you get a chance, come check out a, a horse competition show. The, the horses are absolutely beautiful. As you're driving through Ocala, you're gonna see some beautiful horse farms. You'll see the beautiful horses as well. And if you get a chance, go to downtown Ocala, which is about 25 minutes away from here. And you have to go to Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. Absolutely, my kids love it. I have clients who called me and they're like, oh my gosh, I went and it was amazing. There's an abundance of candies and they actually have like a candy buffet where you can get a box and just fill up the candy. You don't even have to close it for $5. Yes, absolutely. All right, now I'm done. So let's go to Monarch School of Real Estate so I can definitely educate you and guys and give you some rough numbers. All right, welcome to Monarch School of Real Estate. If you guys been following me, you know that I absolutely love to do this because I want to educate you guys as consumers so that you guys know what to look forward to, okay? So the house is listed at $338,000. Just because it's listed at $338,000 doesn't mean you need to offer it, right? It just depends. There's a few negotiation tactics if you need closing costs and things like that, right? So that's something that we can definitely discuss. So we're just gonna go based on the list price. Remember, there's no HOA, no CDD, so there's no additional fees for that. Okay, so now when it comes to financing, there's a few different loan options. We're gonna talk about a few of those. The first one we're gonna talk about is FHA. FHA is primarily for first time home buyers and the minimum down payment is three and a half percent of the purchase price, right? So if we do three and a half percent of $338,000, we have $11,830. But when you're buying a house, not only do you have to think about down payment, you also have to think about closing costs. What are closing costs, Alexis? Ale oh, Alexis, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking back to myself. So closing costs are an accumulation of fees such as loan origination fees, lender fees, title fees, transfer, re transfer fees, prorated taxes, um, and a few additional things. It's usually between three to 4%, but I'm always super conservative and I go 4%. So 4% of 338,000 is $13,520. So if we add those two up, the down payment plus the closing costs, we get a cash to close of $25,300. 
$150. So cash to close is basically how much cash you need in order to close on the property, get those keys, and then you're a homeowner, right? And you have evolved in real estate. So the next loan we're going to talk about is conventional. Conventional, as a first time home buyer, you may qualify for 3%. So 3% of the purchase price is $10,140. Same closing cost. So we have a cash to close of $23,660. Now the next tier from 3% is 5%. 5% of the purchase price is $16,900. Same closing cost, so we have a cash to close of $30,420. The next tier from 5% is 10%. Now, Alexis, why would I pay 20%? I'm um, 10%, excuse me, I'm already ahead of myself. So why would you pay 10%? The reason why you're gonna pay 10% is if this is gonna be considered a second home. The reason why it'll be considered a second home, let's say you work in New York, you're gonna retire in a few years, but you wanna buy a house. Now, that's gonna be considered a second home. Let's say you don't own a home in New York, York, right and um, you eventually want to move to Florida but you want it so but you want to buy the house now it's still gonna be considered a second home even though you don't own a home in New York because you don't work here right if you still work physically in New York there's no way the bank is gonna say there's no way this is gonna be your primary residence right so that's why it's gonna be considered a second home so 10% of the purchase price is thirty three thousand eight hundred dollars Plus the same closing cost, we have a cash to close of $47,320. Now the next tier from 10% now is 20%. So the reason why you pay 20% is if let's say you wanna avoid primary, um, primary private mortgage insurance, um, you'll put 20% down. Uh, if you're gonna use this as an investment property, you're gonna put 20, at least minimum 20% down. Now you sold your house, you wanna roll that into it, you have that 20%, perfect, you're gonna avoid that private mortgage insurance. So 20% of the purchase price is $67,600, same closing cost, and we have a cash to close of $81,120. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is USDA loan. So USDA loan is 100% financing, all you have to worry about is the closing costs and prepaids, right? And um, USDA, is for areas that are considered rural so this area is still considered rural um so you could essentially qualify for a usda loan and all you have to worry about is the closing cost which is that thirteen thousand five hundred and twenty dollars the next loan we're going to talk about is va thank you for everyone who has served our country we would not be here without you you and your family okay so va loan you get a hundred percent financing all you have to worry about is the closing cost which is that thirteen thousand five hundred and twenty dollars now if you're gonna pay in cash cash you still have closing costs but it's just not as much so estimate is about two to three thousand dollars okay now let's talk about taxes so if we're gonna talk about taxes Taxes, I'm not a tax appraiser, okay? That's number one. Number two, I'm not a loan officer. I'm not a licensed loan officer. This is just estimates, all right? So taxes, taxes for new construction is gonna be extremely low that first year because the taxes are only based on the land value, okay? But when the following year, when the land gets reassessed with the house, your taxes are gonna go up. All right, so that's something to keep in mind. Now, this is an, uh, a formula that I was given. So a tax appraiser would essentially take 80% of the value house, right? So let's say this house was valued at 338,000, you paid 338,000, so they're gonna take 80% of 338, and that gives you 270,000 $400. Now, if this is going to be used as a primary residence, you can file for what is called the Florida Homestead Tax Exemption. All right. And that's a $50,000 discount, but this is only for pri this, if this is going to be your primary um, residence. Okay. So if we deduct 50,000 from that 27,400, we get $220,400. Now with this amount, we're going to times it by the tax millage rate. So the tax millage rate for here specifically in Marion Oaks is 0 0.0168. This is not gonna work for any other communities. This is specific to Marion Oaks, okay? So we take the 22400 times the millage rate, so we get $3,702.72. So that would essentially estimate 
be the taxes per year, okay? If it's gonna be um, a second home or an investment property, the taxes are gonna be more because you don't have that $50,000 um, discount, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. Again, this is just an estimate, guys, an estimate. Don't be like, well, Alexis said that the taxes were gonna be this. No, this is just an estimate, okay? Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. All right. Homeowners insurance. This is a big talk in Florida because yes, there's a has been a lot of insurance companies that are no longer writing policies here in Florida. However, there's still a lot of other insurance companies that are writing policies here in Florida. But one thing that you have to consider when you're thinking about homeowners insurance is that what's the um how old is the house right where is the house located are we in a flood zone are we on the coast are we near the water right that's all things that you have to think about so here specifically in ocala we are inland so we are not in a flood zone and we are in a brand new construction home all right so the estimate homeowners insurance is about twelve hundred dollars or less i had a client who closed a few months ago and he paid i believe eleven hundred dollars and it was considered his second home okay Okay. So that's just an estimate as well. Guys, this is what I love to do. I love to educate you guys. And um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, I'm going to say this throughout this entire video that I don't only cover Ocala. I cover all of Central Florida. So if this doesn't work for you, if the area doesn't work for you, reach out to me. Let's collaborate and see what areas, what are you truly looking for and how I can help you. And of course, here at the Evolve Estates Group, it is our passion to help you evolve in real estate. Check out all my other videos in YouTube. There's an abundance of videos throughout the state of, um, throughout Central Florida. See what you like and Stay tuned to my next video.